Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Gia cars. And as you saw from the thumbnail, the car I have behind me today is 2025 Hyundai Tucson facelift hybrid. The car that we've all been waiting for, the car that I personally have been waiting for for months. And look at that, the engine just turned off. That's the beauty about the hybrid. It's all cozy, serene. It belongs to this background I have here today. I'm not in a deserted place, as you can see. I'm actually at a Dogo resort with my Dogo Dim Sum. That's my stay actually right there. Tucson would never belong any better than this place urban slash country it's where the boundaries meet as you can see i have a whole mother nature right on my left side river just flowing through and on my background there is this whole resort well if you've been watching my channel you guys know that i always do my first impression of the car the moment i received the car but then i skipped with this car first of all i did not have time unfortunately and second of all it should not be much different from the patrol tucson facelift that i have reviewed intensively i have exterior interior and pov to test drive night drive ifs intelligent front light system test drive the list just goes on and on so feel free to check out the thorough review on the card above and with those videos there were a lot of questions i always try my best to answer all of the questions that you guys leave me if there is any leftover questions that i fail to answer i will definitely do it with this car at the end of the episode instead of just flying through diving into the car right away and telling you reviewing the car i always want to find the opportunity to come down to places like this and show you the places here in korea because well korea's got some too <laughs> it's not always about the skyscrapers it's not always about the buildings it's not just about gangnam style here in korea we got the mother nature just like this so that way i can actually find more excuse for me to come down to places like this and give you a in-depth review about the car i, I better show up right now let's get into it right now let's go what do you think about the front look of this 2025 tucson facelift well i've mentioned this uh, multiple times already on my previous video the number of the drls on the front has been reduced down to four from five these two the top two drls the gigantic ones light up as the blinker as we know all this design i actually have gone through on my previous video so feel free to check that out the difference between the hybrid model versus the patrol i think i would actually need a car side by side in order to pinpoint the differences but it has the black matte hyundai flat emblem on the front even the front lower skid plate the lower skid plate the intake the front look overall it's essentially the same i will actually include the footage side by side right now and uh, well let's try to find out what the difference is just looking at the hybrid car alone i honestly cannot spot the difference however everything is different of course when you pop the hood what's underneath the hood i will include that footage right now it is equipped with 1.6 turbo geared with six speed automatic that combination we've seen plenty of times throughout hyundai motor group cars and this tucson face lift hybrid is no exception a lot of you watching this video right now probably have experienced the very powertrain of this car so you guys probably know already what it would feel like don't get me wrong but it actually feels quite different once you hop inside and drive this car because the facelift tucson has a lot of upgraded features that's not really directly visible to human eyes at a glance such as dual laminated acoustic glass on the first row wider wheelhouse covers and fender liners and also the sound absorbance underneath the bonnet the hood the list just goes on and on the best thing i actually found on this tucson facelift hybrid it comes with a brand new drive mode which is called baby mode <laughs> go into my drive toggle through first with tucson hybrid there is the baby mode and it has a huge difference i did not actually test drive the car that long at the moment i've only driven the car slightly over over 100 kilometers i don't want to be too quick to judge on the mode i tried it with the several speed bumps and few unpaved conditions and it makes a huge difference i can tell you that with a confidence 
I'll definitely come back to baby mode and tell you more about it at the last episode, so do not miss it out. And all right, so when it comes to the front look, there is not much of a difference, but let me show you the profile and the rear, and of course, the interior. And you see, I've been shooting the video for like 10 minutes straight, but the car did not fire up once after it shut off at the start of the intro. So that is the beauty about the hybrid. Like just imagine how much fuel you'll be saving with the hybrid having the engine turned off. I know you guys don't need me mentioning that, but it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Straight in the middle of mother nature, just like this, the car is on, but the engine is completely off. Let's go to the profile. All right, so this is the profile of Tucson hybrid facelift. So pretty much the only difference you'll be able to tell if this Tucson is a hybrid or not, honestly is the wheels to me, the most obvious one because, well, I'll get back to this momentarily, but there is no more HEV badge on the back of the car. As you can see, there is nothing on it. It is only the wheels, I would say, don't you think? It actually is slapped around in Continental Cross Contact and well, Cross LX Sport to be precise with 235, 60, 18 inch score setup, meaning all same size all around. I think 18s have the best of the both worlds, meaning it looks great and it also performs great. The MPG you get from the 18s is adequate. So is the driving pleasure and comfort with the 18s. Of course, bigger the wheels, um, it might look more sexier and sleek, i.e. Genesis giving us those 2021s and even 22s, right? I did not even once dream about that about a decade ago. <laughs> All right, so that is the profile. Well, let me also give it to you from this angle. Quickly rising belt line, and that is why Honda has been doing quite a lot on most of their recent SUVs. However, this bottom portion, sorry about the dirty car. It rained yesterday, last night, so I couldn't just do anything about it. This molding underneath is actually just plain, plain plastic, a matte plastic. So is this cladding. And I think it's almost like the same material, if not same color as this cladding together with this molding right here. For your information, if you get an end line, you actually do get body color matched cladding right there. And you can get end line in all variations. You can get it the ICE model as well as the hybrid. So not sure why, might have been a little more sportier. If this was color matched together with the silver liners on top, what do you think? Well, drop in the comment below. Let me know what you think about it. However, well, it is what it is. Still, it looks great. I mean, Tucson is one of a kind. The design is unique, as we all know. Not just the car itself, not just from the Hyundai Motor Group, this type of compact SUV in general, it is one of a kind and unique in entire segment, don't you think? So that's the train that I told you about. So it is actually slowing down right now. The another difference right there, it, it doesn't get any more obvious than this. Look at this, right there. So Hyundai emblem, that flat emblem is now also inside underneath the window. Before it was more of a 3D, but now it's flat and 2D, just like the rest of the brand emblem. The rear wiper is hidden underneath right there behind the third brake light. Thanks to this, there is no parting line of the glasses right here. Unlike the preface lift model, that wiper actually stretches down all the way to here almost. So it wipes off pretty much the whole rear portion of the vehicle and that actually does make a huge difference. And Hyundai probably knew it too because Hyundai put that on Ionic 5 product enhancement model, PE model that recently rolled out. Let me show you the interior here but I think most of the interior shots I'll be replacing it with my clean b-rolls as you can see there are just whole junk inside my trunk it gets a super roomy trunk space as you can see you can fold it down this much extra space when you lower the trunk compartment just like so and you can fold the second row seat easily with this although manual you can just yank it it's gonna fold straight away and there has also been and this is the part that i love the most recently you can actually store your seatbelt clip right here so it does not rattle it doesn't get any more straight and obvious than that but it makes a huge difference and do not miss out that gigantic panoramic sunroof 
Oh my God. It's a clear sky we have here today. And you see the car's been running all throughout. Oh wow. It is at idle mode as the car says, but it just did not fire up for the past 30 minutes and plus. Wow. All right, so there is also the night drive where I have captured the IFS intelligent front light system of this facelift Tucson, which is just amazing. It doesn't just turn on and off the high beam, but it will actually use the adequate lighting. So it will only turn off to the spots where necessary, such as if there is the oncoming traffic, day and night difference, having that versus not just toggle through you can go through eco sport and my drive but you want to go into the settings it is so it is indeed baby mode you see i actually did not believe what i saw when i spotted this at first and baby mode you can only set it inside my drive mode as you can see and you can also change the steering wheel to normal and sport the moment I spotted the baby mode, it always has been my favorite drive mode by far. That is for a certain. Hybrid specific is that driver only mode. As you can see, all the other buttons self-explanatory. Dual 12.3 inch monitors right and left. Of course, comes with the latest tech from Hyundai Motor Group, CCNC. So you can actually use wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay first with Tucson. All right, we can see that right there. So there is the HUD. That is something that Sportage did not get, does not get up until now. It does not associate with Apple CarPlay, but it does work with Android Auto. So just do keep that in mind. But there is a great chance that it might get upgraded because it's the CCNC that is backed up with OTA over the air updates. I honestly don't know if the video is going to capture this, but I will show you the difference between the eco mode and baby mode on this unpaved road. Well, let's go. Starting off with eco, as you can see. So I will just go really gentle. I'm not going to hit on the uh, gas pedal. So I'm just gonna drive with one hand so you get the best view possible. So this is the beauty of uh, the Tucson hybrid. I mean, the Tucson in general. You see, as much as it is a city car, urban car, I mean, look at this. You're not gonna go off-roading with this car, but this car will also take you to places because I'm running out of the driveway. So baby mode. So the rebound after the bump. Well, I am actually referring to my past experience with the speed bumps here. Honestly, it wasn't really all that easy for me to differentiate it right now, but the rebound after speed bump is actually much more gentle and smoother per se when it comes to the baby mode. So I personally really did favor baby mode far more than the regular setup the Tucson hybrid facelift has. And this is hybrid only, hybrid specific, because that baby mode actually became possible because hybrid actually has the motor to work together to better the pitching of the car. And associated with the hybrid is a lot of e-motion, e-drive, e-dynamics, e-DTVC, the list goes on and on. This I actually have gone through in depth with my Santa Fe hybrid review. I think I might include the footage right now because it's quite long, but if you are curious about it, definitely do check it out on their website. It is much more than just fancy names. It actually works and it's really practical. I really like that they call it baby mode. <laughs> so that being said, babies usually sit on the second row seat, right? I'm really curious if there is a significant difference when it comes to the second row seat. There's some um, baby mode versus eco or sport for that matter. And look at that, the surround view cam, it comes in super handy. You do not need to get outside the car or open up the door to find out that if you parked your car perfect or not. Look at that. I can see it all real time, the bird eye view, just like that. Complete. And it's also, re it really feels luxurious. 
It's not Alcantara, it's suede. However, it almost feels, you know, it almost gives me the same vibe. Love that. Don't you love the color too? 